Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we will continue our work on Virgil by painting his gloves and Yamato sheet and handle. Future and past parts will be in the description. Without further ado, let's get to painting. We are going to start just like the previous two parts with Vallejo's dark grey blue. We will paint the whole sheath with it. Do not paint the gloves or the handle of the sword. In order to give the sheath a darker blue hue, we will cover it with Drakenhof Nightshade. You can do this step while the shade is drying or wait for it to dry and then continue. Using Retributor Armor, paint the bottom of the sheath, the area on the upper part of the sheath, the one that is under the guard, as well as Yamato's guard. Once the metallic has fully dried, cover all parts that belong to the sheath with non oil. Do not shade the guard as we will shade it later. Afterwards, we will jump back to Retributor Armor and highlight close to the edges of the sheath and under the guard. Yamada's handle will be painted fully with Corax White. Give it two nice layers for maximum coverage. Combining a brush with a nice small tip and contour blue, we will carefully paint the areas between the handle. Since we are done with the handle, we can now paint the top of the handle. Just like with the sheath, we will use Retributor Armor. Afterwards, we will shade it with Null Oil. Once dried, we will highlight the guard and top with Retributor Armor. Try to highlight as close to the edges as you can. We will add details to the highlight we just did using Auric Armor Gold. Go over the highlights done in the previous step covering less area. With the sheath done, we will move to the gloves and skin. To ensure uniformity with the rest of the skin, we will first cover the area with grey sear. Subsequently, we will add two layers of Cadian flesh tone to the skin. Try to avoid painting on the gloves as much as possible. Making a mix of Abaddon black and German grey in a consistency of 1 to 1, we will start painting the gloves. For obvious reasons, avoid to paint on the skin. If an accident happened, fix it with Cadian Flesh Tone as soon as possible. At the area around the knuckles, we will do some highlights using pure German Grey. Let's highlight the skin. We will make a 1 to 1 mix of Cadian Flesh Tone and Kisla Flesh. We will paint all areas that the light would hit. Afterwards, with pure Kisla flesh, we will add extra details on the wrist and fingers. To finish the piece, we will make a mix of Bugman's Glow and Cadian Flesh Tone, again one to one, and paint the fingernails. The results should look like this. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Any interaction you make with the channel helps immensely. All colors used in this video are on your screen now. I was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.